Your Humanities Half Hour is brought to you by the Northern Marianas Humanities Council. Welcome to Your Humanities Half Hour. I'm Katherine Harris, and May is Mes Manamco Month, Older Americans Month. And we're also observing that here in the Northern Marianas, and it's our pleasure to have in studio today some of the management and staff of our local Manamco Center, as well as some Manamco themselves. In the first half of our show, we have with us the Federal Programs Coordinator, Linda Conception Torres, and also one of the congregate clients who usually goes to the Manamco Center, Maria Titano Salinas. Lynn, Marie, welcome to Your Humanities Half Hour. Thank Thank you, Kat, for having us here. Thank you. Well, I, it's it's wonderful to see you folks out of the Center for Change. I usually run into you there, but Mes Manamco, it's, it just makes everybody feel happy when they hear, oh, it's Mes Manamco, you know, let's, let's give special recognition to our Manamco. Um, and you kicked it off with a proclamation signing with the acting governor. Tell us what is on the agenda for Mes Manamco. Uh, for the month of May, uh, we have on our schedule um, we started out on the f- on the first, which is uh, last Monday. We were out doing the waving and had a, a picnic at Carolinian Wood. The uh, Mononco really enjoyed that. We had some dancing uh, contests and some games. And they love to dance. Oh, I they understand. Love to they're, dance. they're always dancing. <laughs> they can dance all day, so I have to uh, keep up with them. <laughs> uh, I love the Mononco. They they keep you or make you feel young, younger. <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, next month, Cat. Uh, next month, um, Monday. I mean, I'm sorry. Next next week, Monday, we have the uh, dance and karaoke contest. We also have the 1950-1960 party. Oh the, um, wow! Put on their old but new <laughs> outfit, right? Because they're st- starting to come back again. Those old right, the retro look. Okay, yes, yes. great. So that would be on Monday, and then um, of course on the uh, on that same week on Friday. We have the um, fashion show, and that's the uh, different, each Manamco will represent a different flower that we have available here on island, and they'll do a fashion show at around 5.30 at multi-purpose, Okay. And it's free, uh, so we would like to invite our community to come and uh, support our Manamco. It seems like you guys are doing more and more fashion shows. This is something that's kind of caught on? That's something that they... The Last year we did it and they really enjoyed that. Ah. So they want to bring it back again this year. So, you know, uh, there's last year it was maybe just a handful and this year there's about 20 some participants. So that's a big number. And uh, we have uh, Charmaine that's helping them with, you know, their outfit, the makeup, and pageant, makeup, yeah. and hair. And uh, so Auntie Maria, what are you going to be? Are you going to be in the fashion show? Uh, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> oh, you better get your ideas together. You know, I know all you ladies like to look your best. Uh, you should join. <laughs> of course. Oh, she will. I think um, she'll I can, have a I great time. I not join. Ah, okay, okay. She can't get away from that. She's she's very active, so we want to keep her that way. And if for those that may not be able to make it next Friday at the Multipurpose Center, you're still going to have another chance to see this uh, fashion show. Yes, we have another one on Saturday um, at the um, Taste of the Marianas. And so the our Manamco will be there doing the fashion show, um, I believe, around 630? 6.30. Yes. And so, you know, if you can't make it on Friday, you still have a chance on Saturday to come out and see them. That's exciting. And what else do you have? Um, we have the uh, ground golf, which is one of their favorite sports. Um, Coral Ocean Point will be um, the main sponsor uh, for that ground golf. And that's between Saipan Road and Tinian. Ah, and, and you've been doing this for a while, right? They've been doing it was since in second or third year. Well, um, they've been doing it way back, back uh, when they were still young. <laughs> now, do, do you play ground golf? Uh, I do, but I I didn't partic- I didn't participate this last last year. Are you going to join this year? Um, 
<laughs> you got to. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So about how many how many people are you expecting or how many Manamco are you expecting? Um, for the uh, tournament, we have uh, just Saipan alone, we have about 30 participants for that and maybe around 5 uh, to 10 uh, between Rhoda and Tinian. Well, the nice thing is you have a lot of um, active physical things that keep the Manamco moving and then you have other activities for those that may have some um, medical issues or health impediments that maybe they can't go out there and be out in the sun all day. And um, They're the cheerleaders. Ah, so they're on the yeah. sideline cheering for their favorite um, <laughs> player. But it's a really low impact uh, Ground sport, golf, it's yes. pretty calm. So, yeah, okay. You know, um, <laughs> You can come out with your cane and still enjoy the game. So. It's also a good exercise, not only performing, but it's just really good exercise. A lot of walking. Yeah. 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 Well, swing. any golfer knows <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that golf is a lot of... You hit the ball and then go look for it. So. <laughs> you, hit the, you try and hit it far and then you go chase it. <laughs> and you hit it so, <laughs> so you got to be accurate or else you end up walking farther, huh? No, I like to walk farther so that it goes into the hole. <laughs> Okay. And what else is on your agenda this morning? Uh, we also have the uh, cookout, or um, they want to call it the luau. It's for daytime. I'm going to have it at the center where each, um, well, we, we have different ethnicity in our, you know, in our center. So they will bring out their best ethnic food yes. or, yeah, okay. And uh, they'll cook it there. So we'll have some barbecue, um, some puto or poto here. Uh, titizas, um. What are you looking forward to at the at the cookout? Eating. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> Sample. No. Sampling. We love uh. to eat. And they, they really can cook, these older people. Well, they've had a lot of time to pr perfect their <laughs> recipes. <laughs> and a lot of, uh, you know, judges, all their children and grandchildren and spouses and... Yeah, mm. so usually we uh, they cook just a, a small, you know, uh, portion just for sampling. Okay. And then we have their their regular lunch to eat. But it's uh, we had this again last year, mm -hmm. and they really enjoyed the uh, cooking, and so we want to bring it back uh, this year. Sounds good. Exciting, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. And so uh, you know, uh, Zumba is, is uh, was scheduled for. Um, the 29th, but that's a um, a holiday, ah. and so we're we have to m move it to maybe the 25th. And Zumba is going to be at the center, and so um, who's doing your Zumba for you? The CHCC. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're doing Zumba and a dance class. So dance class will be on the 30th, and so the it will be the first time for Manamco to. Uh, do Zumba. Right now they're doing Tai Chi. Uh -huh. And so Zumba will be more like dancing, dancing, which is something that they love to do. So Yes, they seem to always be dancing. Always yeah. dancing. <laughs> they always start the day with dance and end it with dance. So uh, that's a good exercise for them. And so Kathy, or I think the, the last and the biggest event for the month of May will be the uh, King and Queen Coronation. Ah, uh, yes. And that will be the, uh, the 30th, which mm -hmm. is the, on a Wednesday. And um, we're going to have it at the center. So we'll decorate it, uh, you know, like I think we had it two or three years ago. And it turned oh out really yeah. nice. Yeah. And um, this year, we're, uh, the council decided to have it again back at the center. Um, yeah. So we don't have to spend so much money. Yeah, because you got to save you, you guys actually do a lot of fundraising during the year and I guess maybe uh, this is Some part of the, part yeah. of that um, for the all these activities you want to do and you're quite an active group it's not the same Manamco Center that I think a lot of us um, you know knew back in the day how long have you been going there oh uh, about eight years okay, okay. And what has your experience been? What What is it that keeps you coming back? It keeps me young. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How does it keep you young? Oh, uh, I go out and, you know, the, the people greet me and they recognize me as being with the Banamco. Uh, even people that I never saw before, 
So how is Madam Ko on us? Thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really fun and uh, people should your mom is there no? So Yes, yes. <laughs> so she goes for the for the social hour and uh yeah, she just likes to go and, and I, I, I believe that's the main reason why she goes. She goes to socialize with everybody yeah. else. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, she still has an active life outside of the Manamco, but she just she enjoys coming Yeah, to she enjoys really. it. Yeah. Yeah. She's very good, you know. She's well, She's always dancing and <laughs> singing, so. Yeah, that's my mom. That, you know, she may go for the dancing. I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, she does come out. And she picks her, you know, like a partner, and then she brings and drags him out and then, or her out and dance. And not giving them a, a choice, right? No. She just pull everybody and say, let's go. So if no she choice. You, that's it. Dance you're, you better dance with her. Well, I read something in the paper this week that I thought was so cool, and it was about... Um, Computer classes. Wait, I may be mistaken. They may have been the public computer classes, but I understand you guys are doing computer classes. Yes, there. We just started that. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm enrolled in, in it. Uh, and how did you how did you feel about learning how to use a computer, or um, did you already know? <laughs> That's just it. I know a computer, but learning it, you know, really learning it, it's really amazing. I I knew how much I didn't know. <laughs> really. Tell us some of the things you've learned. Um, I learned what I wasn't, I was doing wrong. So I mean, you know, it's not, it's not, it hasn't progressed. We're not that far ahead yet. Uh, I think this is only the fourth. Yes, the week. fourth. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and we only have like half hour. So you know, and there's ten of us, and so by the time he goes through one each, it uh, the hour is over. So. Uh, but it's fun and we all like it. <laughs> it's fun to learn that what I did before is not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make it I'm easier. It, huh? it doesn't make it easier for you to use the computer. No, I. <laughs> I mean, now that you're learning. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I think I like it better <laughs> just at my own speed and my own <laughs> techniques. And I don't like you know the learning. This uh, I rather just proceed with my own uh, experience of just searching by. Trial and error, yeah. yeah. Trial and error, <laughs> <laughs> and the computer class is with the um, Joten, Joten Kizu Library. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I understand you used to also offer internet access to the congregate clients who come. Is that still available? Uh, yes, yeah. it's still available. We have. Uh, and do you find that um, you we are only able? We have one or two uh, uh, computers, so you know, not many people can access it. Uh huh. So that's that's the bad thing about it. We don't have enough computers. Do you find that you um, people are able to um, stay in touch with their families better, either having this access or um, learning about how to use the internet or the computer? I, I think it helps them a lot, and they they have uh, they they uh, get in touch with their like the Filipinos, They're like you know far away Philippines, and they can talk to their family. Or you know they, they keep in touch, and so they really really enjoyed it. It's just that, uh, and it's always malfunction. <laughs> 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 okay, we need we may need some technical support there. Well, yeah. I I, I want to ask you um, um, both for some final thoughts before you we go because we have the director coming in the next half of the show. But um, Auntie Maria, especially, I want to ask you um, what. Do you have any words for the community or for other Manamco? You've been going there for eight years. Um, what would you say to, you know, to I, other people? I get up on uh, like uh, the, let's say the flame tree. I get up on the on the, speak, the microphone and I, I tell them that the Manamco is really not not for the Manamco per se. And I said you just you should come in and look around what we have, and it's it's uh, it, it opens up your mind that it's not for old people, it's for people that are, you know, sedentary and they just want to, uh, but you learn a lot. And I learn a lot going to the, to the Manamco Center. And uh, it's from that that I really want to entice this old people to come in. I said, come on in and just watch us, watch the, the center operate. Because, you know, then they open, it opens up their eyes and then you'd be surprised how many people are being are touched by that. Me just talking to them, they want to come in. And I, 
<laughs> then I asked Walter, do you have enough uh, applicants? What? And I said, oh, I, I thought they were coming, coming in, but, but they, you know, some are very interested in it, but uh, they don't know if they can do it. But there's, well, what is there to do? You just show up. And they feed you, they bring you there, they take you home. They make you, you know. dance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know when you, um, whenever you mention Manomco, the first thing that comes to uh, their mind is bingo, right? Like, I don't um, play bingo. But yeah, I don't talk about bingo either. I yeah, but Senior Center don't just offer bingo uh, game. Bingo game is available, but our Senior Center offers far more than that. Uh, we have everything from off-island trips to special events, arts and crafts, music and dance, lifelong learning, uh, fitness and health programs, weekend getaway. Uh, we always enjoy that weekend getaway. Uh, On-island field trips, school visits, concerts. We also pair up seniors with youth to encourage uh, healthier eating and physical activities. Yeah. Remember that program, like a sponsored, um, what do you call that, the uh, program with the uh, PSS kids when they come in? All these kids, the, the, the youngsters that come in, they, you, you can tell them stories about your whatever, you, you know, it's usually your, your gr growing up stories. And they, they're all, all eyes, and they're like this. <laughs> and anybody has any question? Oh, and they all come up to you, and then you don't know which one to answer, because they're, they're coming at you. How long were you, how, how long are you going to be there? I said, I, I hope to be there a long time. <laughs> Well, we've been speaking today with Federal Program Coordinator of the Office on Aging, Linda Conception Torres, and also one of the congregate clients, Maria Titano Salinas. Thank you, ladies, for your time, and happy Mes Manamco. Thank you, yes, too, for thank having you. us here. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. This September, the Northern Marianas Humanities Council, Northern Marianas College, University of Guam, and Guampedia will host the third Marianas History Conference in Saipan. The conference theme, one Archipelago, Many Stories, Milestones in Marianas History, highlights the deep and rich history of the Mariana Islands. It also bridges the political division of the archipelago, which dates to the late 19th century. The conference steering committee is now accepting abstracts under the following general categories. Ancient history, including the results of archeological research, early colonial history in the 17th and 18th centuries, colonial history in the 19th and early 20th centuries, World War II, recent post-war, and oral history and genealogical research. Paper abstracts may be submitted by April 28. For more information, visit the Northern Marianas Humanities Council website at northernmarianashumanities.org. That's northernmarianashumanities.org. Welcome back to Your Humanities Half Hour. Today we're talking Mes Manamco. And here in the second half of our show, it's my pleasure to introduce the Director of the Office on Aging, Walter Manglonia, and also the President of the Saipan Senior Advisory Council, Rita Indelacio Rages. Walt, Auntie Reed, welcome yeah. to the show. Thank you for Thank inviting you. us. Now, Auntie Reed, I know um, Walter said he wanted you to share your experiences first. So, uh, tell me, why did you decide to start going to the Manamco Center, and how long have you been going? Oh, I've been going over there for almost 15 years. Wow. And I really enjoy. What is it you like about it? I like about um, all the events, and also I like about uh, the director's planning to put out a movie. Yes. And he just did finish uh, putting us on the, um, like, uh, advertisement. You see, if you watch that, Kathy, it's very nice. Which advertisement is that? Uh, the... For the Older Americans Month. Yeah. Ah, Older yeah. Americans Month. It seems like um, the director has a lot of new ideas. Yes. And he seems to be very attentive to what it is you guys are interested in. You know. Yeah. Are you going to be in the movie? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is your favorite part? You go there every day, every yes. weekday they're oh. open. What's your favorite part? My favorite part is to go over there mm -hmm. and mingle with the uh, Manonko. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to them, make them laugh, make me laugh. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
we enjoy talking to each other, joking, uh, aside from playing bingo, because you know, they love to play bingo very much. But uh, I really enjoy going over there. I hope that some of the Manamku will go over there, you know, and, and join us. I like Kati, I really, just to, uh, uh, just to wake up and, and fix myself and go over there and see them and, you know, talk to the Manamko. They're really understanding. You know, I might have to have the, the cast and crew of the movie come on the show when you guys uh, get it done. So this is my invitation to you guys. You let them know. Yeah. I want to talk to them about their experience. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, well, while you certainly have a lot of programs going on there at the Manamco Center. Sure. And um, share with us um, what are some of your programs and who, who can um, avail of them? Because it sure sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Primarily the, uh, the programs and activities that we implement at the center of, um, originated from the Old Americans Act. So basically, um, just, just starting off with the programs that, that we have um, at the center include you know, a nutrition program, providing um, nutritional meals for our elders. Um, we have two separate groups of Manamco. We have the one that actually actively come to the center, um, who are still able, fit, um, and capable to, to move around on their own. And these are known as congregate the clients? Okay. Yeah. So um, they're the ones that actually come actively to the senior centers um, in Saipan and Rota. And of course we have our homebound clients, the ones that are, um, are sick, they're, they're confined to their bed and are unable to join us due to illness um, or other health reasons that may prevent them from coming and joining us at the center. Uh, we provide meals um, to this uh, to these clients at home, our Manamco, and in addition to that, we, we also um, do needs assessment. We, we want to find out what they need, and um, we're working uh, closely right now with one of our healthcare providers to be able to provide, um, in addition to that, uh, counseling for their caregivers who take care of them, and also to provide on some kind of uh, educational tool for these caregivers. And we, we provide respite for caregivers. Um, this is like giving them a break a little bit? Giving them a break. Um, this will help, help them kind of like get the edge off. And this um, will lead to hopefully um, less chance of kind of like, you know, just being burned out. So that, you know, it's, we, we don't want that to lead to a possible elder abuse. And because caretaking is to. very demanding, Absolutely. physically, mentally, emotionally. So that's a wonderful service you provide. Sure. Yes, and um, working with our seniors at home, um, we want to be able to extend access assistance and see if some of them need, for example, to renew their, their food stamp or any kind of application or they need assistance um, in regards to updating their Medicaid and there's no means for them to get there, uh, we can work as those, uh, you know, kind of like a uh, one-stop uh, you know, center to be able to help these guys try to get things done a lot easier and more effective uh, through us because we have staff that are ready in place to be able to assist them. And for our nutrition program here in Saipan it's catered and um, we receive one third meal a day and this has to be an older American sack approved meal of course um, that's that's one of our mandates and um, they, they make sure that they have their vegetables and the serving of their um, terrine official mm -hmm. well what, what can you tell us a little bit about the food you guys eat oh yeah sometimes we have like fish fish mm -hmm. and uh, mixed vegetable mm -hmm. and of course the uh, fruits Good. and milk. That sounds pretty healthy. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes we have uh, hamburger. Do you ever get to have chocolate though? That's what no. we really want. Oh, no. <laughs> not even chocolate cake? No, not no. even chocolate. Not even a little bit? <laughs> no, oh, okay, okay. Only orange <laughs> or banana? Yeah, when she Nothing came in as a... Dessert. Yeah, when she came in as a president, 
she wanted to eliminate the ice cream because hey you go president month, all right towards the end of the month uh, we used to serve a very small serving of ice cream and cake for the birthday celebrant. Okay. She wanted to replace that with fresh fruits. Wow, good for you. And, you know, I was so happy with her decision to be able to transition to a more healthier diet. Mm-hmm. And, um, but just, just, um, just roughly going through all the, all of our activities at the center, we, um, we, we have the supportive services in which we provide exercise activities at the center, uh, transportation services, being able to, um, bring them to their hospital appointments, pick up their medication, take them to pay their bills. Um, we, we do a lot of services in regards to just assistance on that, in, you know, in this in this program. And the C1 and C2, as I mentioned earlier, is our nutrition program. C1 is catered to our active congregants, and C2 is for our homebound clients and their caregivers. Um, but speaking of caregivers, we actually have our Title Three e which we provide services directly uh, for the caregivers that take care of our elders. And I understand that there's a lot of questions that they may have in regards to eligibility. Um, That's a big uh, question. That is a big question. So if you are the primary caregiver of a homebound client and you are a spouse, then you're eligible for a meal, regardless of age. But if you're not a spouse, then you have to be 60 years of age you have to be a Monamco yourself, yes, basically. To okay. Be able to, yeah. So, yeah, so, some of the things that they mention is, you know, I know this person here, this person here is only um, 40 years old and she's getting a meal. But it just so happened that that person is actually married to the, the homebound client. So, in general, what age do you have to be to, to come to, the, for example, the Monamco Center? 60. Okay, 60. So, I only have. Uh, <laughs> 16 more years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, our program's not means tested. Everything is, you know, we, we don't really look into their, um, we don't look into their uh, income at all. So just as long as they reside here in Saipan and they're 60 and older, mm -hmm. regardless of your nationality, you're welcome to come join us at the center. And you do have a mixed uh, Absolutely. congregation. Absolutely. We, um, last I checked, yeah. we have a little bit over nine different ethnic groups at the well. center. And how many people come on average on a daily basis? On average, basis? most recent count that we have anywhere between 80 to a little bit over 100. Wow. Um, that we have registered, but on a daily basis right now, mm -hmm. uh, we we're averaging close to 80 or that come it to goes the up center. And down. It, it mm -hmm. all depends. Depending on whether there's fresh fruit or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We um we would still continue to see um, a big rise in, in client population. So we're pretty much gearing with that, working closely, you know, with administration to be able to budget enough to be able to accommodate um, you know, the growing population at the center. So mm -hmm. yeah. Well we, we also um just, just go one ahead. note, yeah, we also bring um, healthcare providers to come to the center. Um, and also um, uh, people that are experts in regards to doing exercise activities such as Tai Chi or some kind of, uh, uh, we, we had yoga uh, at one time and um, we are trying to explore other options to try to get our manamko motivated, uh, including dancing, which is very healthy. And um, what she mentioned earlier, we recently did a music video. It's on YouTube right now. so. Um, what this do is, we um, have to search to find it? Um, Saipan Manamko, Age Out Loud. Oh, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Reed says, you should see it. <laughs> yes, and it kind of showcases the, the talented Manamko doing um, dance choreography. And, you know, we, we just want to extend a, a thank you to Kensington for allowing us to shoot at their place as well. Oh, that's so totally awesome. Yeah. And um, this, this all this program is actually under Title Three program. Um, and Title Seven, which covers the elder abuse prevention. Um, if anyone has a question in regards to what to do if they see someone that's abused, they can call our office immediately and we can help guide them through the process. Or if they want to stay anonymous, they can kind of just mention the situation and everything like that and we'll look into it. Um, we do not have an adult protective service currently here in Saipan, so that means we have to work closely and collaborative with DPS. So everything um, that, that we do in regards to the protection of the Manamco needs to be precise and, and immediate. So we need to make sure that we take care of the situation as soon as possible. Um, our count's not that great right now. I mean, we, we haven't received a lot of complaints, which is 
to us that's good news but it does not mean that abuse doesn't exist we need to make sure that we encourage all the people out in the community who suspect of something like this to just give us a call let us know the situation and we'll look into it it's very important because some of our elders depend on us to be able to protect them especially the ones that are unable to defend themselves yeah well i have to say from a personal standpoint uh you've been the director now for several years and when i heard that you were had been appointed uh the director i was very happy because you've been at the manamco center uh, for for many years, and um, you genuinely love them, and other people like myself can see that. And I think the the Manamco Auntie Reed's nodding her head very <laughs> very strongly. Um, they they feel that too. And aside from your professionalism, um, it's wonderful to have uh, somebody with a heart at the head of the office. So, sure. congratulate you on everything that you guys are doing. Any final thoughts before you go? Yes, um, I, I can't take all the credit. I just want to go ahead and acknowledge all my wonderful staff, you know, at the Office on Aging. And of course, our Manamco, we work together as a team. And I, I always tell this to my staff, we are kind of like King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Everybody okay. has a say, <laughs> we are all equal. Um, I'm not saying I'm the king. If anything, any given day, anybody could be the king. We just sit down and we share ideas and we kind of uh, chip in to be able to try to accommodate um, you know, whatever we can to be able to help our seniors. But um, in regards to just one last note, um, we do have um, the Senior Community Service Employment Program. This is more known as Title V or okay. CSEP. Yeah. We are encouraging um, older adults, 55 years and older, who is interested and serious into finding employment. It's never too late. Give us a call and we have an application where we review and kind of bring you in, provide training for you to be able to be more marketable or to acquire the tools needed to be able to transition back into the workforce. And we need, there, there's so many um, openings that are going on right now and they're, they're opening and we need to be able to fill these jobs. And that's why we're trying to target our older folks that are still you know, active and we want them to be involved and continue to strive and be you know, a big part of our community. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're encouraging. That's basically our mission right now is to be able to encourage our elders to stay active and involved in the community for as long as possible and keep them out of their homes, right? I understand that they're busy, but you have a lot of time, you know, after you leave the center to do a lot of other things. But when you come in, you build social skills. You you, you be able to, to you know, form um, kind of like uh, a bond, mm -hmm. you know, almost like a family, mm -hmm. absolutely friendship. And those are the things that, the, the, the main reason why I'm there at the Aging Center is to be able to see what I can do to kind of take their idea, their energy, mm -hmm. their dreams, and try to make it come true for them. Well, we've been speaking today about Mes Manamco and the Office on Aging with Director Walter Manglonia and also President of the Saipan Senior Advisory Council, Rita Indalecio Rages. Thank you both for your time, and we wish you all the best. And of course, happy Ms. Manamko. Thank you. Thank you. This has been your Humanities Half Hour. I'm Katherine Harris. Wow. This program was supported by a We the People grant awarded to the Northern Marianas Humanities Council from the National Endowment for the Humanities. Any views, findings, conclusions, or recommendations expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily represent those of the National Endowment for the Humanities or the Northern Marianas Humanities Council. Mm -hmm.